वेलकम टू जावा क्विज सीरीज हेर इज अ वन मोर क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द पर्पज ऑफ सुपर कीवर्ड इन जावा ऑप्शन ए टू रेफर टू द करेंट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑप्शन बी टू इन्वोक द सुपर क्लास कंस्ट्रक्टर और मेथड्स ऑप्शन सी टू क्रिएट अ मल्टीपल इंस्टेंस ऑफ अ क्लास ऑप्शन डी टू हाइड द डेटा इन मेथड्स विद इन अ क्लास वेल यू हैव फाइव सेकेंड्स टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन The correct answer is option B to invoke the super class constructor or methods. Well, the super keyword in Java is used to refer to the super class or a parent class of the current object. It is commonly used to invoke the super class constructor or methods within a subclass. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is a one more question. What is the purpose of this keyword in Java? Option A to refer to the current object. Option B to invoke the super class constructor or methods option c to create multiple instances of a class option d to hide the data and methods within a class well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option a to refer to the current object well the this keyword in java is used to refer to the current object within a instance method or a constructor it is often used to distinguish between instance variables and method parameters welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question what is the purpose of final keyword in java option a to prevent the inheritance of class option b to prevent overriding of a method option c to prevent modification of a variables value option d all of the above well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option d all of the above we use final keyword to prevent the inheritance of a class it means once we create a class with a final keyword we cannot extend that class we use final keyword to prevent the overriding of a class well once we create a method with a final keyword we cannot override that method in a subclass next we can use final keyword to prevent the modification of a variable's value well once we define a member variable with a final keyword we cannot assign a value or we cannot modify the final member you know value in the class welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question which keyword is used to inherit the properties and methods from another class option a import keyword option b package keyword option c extends keyword option d implements keyword well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option c extends keyword well basically this is the inheritance concept for example let's say we have class a it has a properties and methods next let's say we have class b and it want to inherit the properties and methods from the class a so class b it can use extends keyword to inherit the properties and methods from a class a so this is the inheritance concept and in java we use extends keyword to extend a class from another class and inherit the properties and methods from that another class welcome to java quiz series here is a one more simple question what is the root class for all java classes option a object class option b class option c super class option d root well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option a object class well in java object class is a root class of class hierarchy every class has a object as a super class okay so whenever you create your own class then that class implicitly extends a object class so that you can override the object class methods and you can provide its own implementation all right great welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question which of these classes is immutable in java option a string option b string buffer option c string builder option d both b and c well you have 5 seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option a string in java string objects are immutable meaning once a string object is created its value cannot be changed any modification to the existing string object results in the creation of new string object on the other hand 
string buffer and string builder are immutable meaning once you create the object of string buffer or a string builder class then you can change its value okay welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question can an interface have a constructor in java option a yes option b no well you have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option b no well in java interfaces cannot have a constructors because they cannot be instantiated in order to create object of the class the class should have a constructor okay and interfaces cannot have a constructors in java because they cannot be instantiated in order to create object of the interface you have to create a class and that class implements the interface then only you can be able to create object of the class which implements the interface welcome to java quiz here is one more question is it possible to create an instance of an interface option a yes option b no you have five seconds to answer this question correct answer is option b no we cannot instantiate or create object of a interface directly however we can create a reference variables of a interface type for example we can create a class that implements a interface and then we can create object of that class welcome to java quiz here is a one more question can an interface inherit from a class option a yes option b no well you have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option b no in java an interface cannot inherit from a class it can only extend other interfaces welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question can an interface method be declared as a final option a yes option b no well you have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option b no in java the methods in an interface are implicitly abstract and the abstract methods cannot be final because abstract method is a method it does not have implementation right by default the methods in an interface are implicitly abstract okay so just remember this kind of questions you may get in an interviews welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question an interface with no methods is known as option a abstract interface option b marker interface option c empty interface option d functional interface well you have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option b marker interface well in java an interface with no defined methods is known as marker interface it is used to mark classes that supports certain capabilities just remember the interface it don't have any methods is known as marker interface and this marker interface is useful to mark classes that support certain capabilities welcome to java quiz series here is one more question how does java support multiple inheritance option a using classes option b using interfaces option c using enums option d using abstract classes well you have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is using interfaces well java does not support multiple inheritance through classes due to the complexity and potential issues it could introduce such as diamond problem however java allows a class to implement multiple interfaces which enables a form of multiple inheritance all right so in java we can achieve a multiple inheritance using interfaces because a class can implement multiple interfaces and override the methods from the multiple interfaces and provide the implementation welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question which keyword is used to prevent a class from being inherited option a final keyword option b abstract keyword option c static keyword option d extends keyword well you have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option a final keyword well whenever we create a class with a final keyword then that class cannot be subclassed or extended so this basically prevent 
a class from being inherited in java welcome to java quiz here is a one more question in java 9 which type of methods can be added to interfaces to share a code between methods option a static methods option b private methods option c final methods option d protected well you have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option b private methods well starting from java 9 interfaces can have private methods which can help in sharing code between methods without exposing them to the external classes well as we know that java 8 onwards we can define the static and default methods in an interface and java 9 onwards we can also define the private methods in an interface well private methods are useful because we can keep the common code in a private method and we can call those private methods in a default methods in an interface welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question can enums extend another classes in java option a s option b no option c only abstract classes option d only other enums well you have five seconds to answer this question The correct answer is option B, no. So in Java, enums cannot extend other classes because they already implicitly extend the enum class. All right, so enums cannot extend other classes in Java because they implicitly extend the inbuilt enum class. However, they can implement interfaces. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. Can an enum have a constructor? Option A, yes, it can be public. Option B, yes, it must always be private. Option C, no enums cannot have a constructors. Option D, yes, but it must be protected. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option B, yes, but it must always be private. Well, the enums can have constructors, but they are always private. This is to prevent the creation of new enum instances. Okay, so this is an important question and you may get this kind of question in interviews. So just remember enums can have a constructors, but they are always private. So this is because to prevent the creation of new enum instances. 